I said, when you're talking to FISBOs, only 13% of those off-market houses will they sell to you on terms and creatively. So when you've got the cash and you can offer to close within seven days, absolutely you're going to get more offers accepted. So the number one way is have private money. All right. The, the second way is offer fast closings and allow them to stay in the property if it is occupied for the period of time that you agree upon. I will tell you, I typically do not give them more than 30 or 60 days at the most to stay in the property all right, <clears throat> for free. The third way to get more of your offers accepted is, and this is a writer downer, the third way to get more of your offers accepted is to make your offer absolutely clean as possible. What do I mean by making your offer clean? What I mean by making your offer clean is don't have all these contingencies. In other words, you want to put in your offer no appraisals, no appraisals. But you see, when you're using private money or you're buying on terms, you don't need an appraisal. None of these private lenders that I'm talking about are going to require an appraisal. So what am I going to use to, for me to know exactly what the value of a house or property is? I'm going to use my Realtors CMA, which of course stands for Comparative Market Analysis. I get all of my CMAs from my Realtor typically within 24 business hours. Now, these CMAs are going to tell me what the after repaired value is, not the as is value, but the after repaired value. Now, my realtor will not have to go to the property and walk around the property in order to give me the after repaired value. The reason for that is because my realtor knows that when I rehab a house, what kind of condition that that house is going to be in. It's going to be absolutely beautiful with granite countertops or butcher block countertops. Uh, all interior paint will be new, etc. So my realtor knows how to give that to me, but when I'm making my offer, and we're talking about getting more offers accepted because your offer is clean, that means hardly no contingencies at all. So I'll say no appraisal. Um, I'll say as is, you know, at the, the quote as is where is. Now, if there's a major rehab involved, I am for sure going to get a home inspection. All right. I don't write into the offer that that's one of the contingencies because the contract that we use actually has in the contract that we can get out of the contract if we have a home inspection and we find, you know, uh, other problems. You know, Murphy lives in every house, so we may have to renegotiate the price. But as far as the written in contingencies, I want to say no appraisals. And look, I want you to write in your offer um, that you uh, do not need to get approved for a loan. It's going to be all cash. This is an all cash as is where is offer. And let me ask you this question. Can you make your offer say in writing all cash and still get a private lender loan? And the answer is absolutely you know, yes. Real estate investors raise a lot of private money for their deals. And if you would like to get, and you need private money and a lot of it like really fast, then I invite you to join me in person live at my upcoming Private Money Academy conference. It's three days. We dive deep and it's you and me together. You can go check it out at www. And I have no idea what URL we want to put up here for this video. Yeah. <laughs>